Today is day two of our Treasure Islands day. We decided to sleep in just a little bit longer than we normally do. And what we're planning to do today is, you know, go around, shop a little bit, take in some of the sights to see in St. Pete. We haven't actually been exploring over in that area before, um, so we're super excited for that. But first, we're going to start out with breakfast. Alright, so we decided to go to breakfast at Waffle House. And um, we decided to get the all-star special, which comes with either grits or hash browns, toast, eggs, bacon. We condense all the bacon into one plate. I did sunny side up eggs and the grits. Uh, it comes with waffles as well. Those are still on the way. Um, and we also got Caden a waffle as well. And of course, here's our waffles. They just came out. With some butter on top. Okay, so that was delicious. Um, I haven't been to Waffle House in like maybe eight years. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoyed my food. I had um, just a waffle, um, a little bit of hash browns, and um, some toast. And then, um, yeah, very much enjoyed it. Uh, Tony had what? A waffle? What did you I have again? The All Star Breakfast which had waffle, eggs, I did grits, and I did a side of hash browns and toast and it also came with three slices slices of bacon and i'm devouring all of that yeah this has been honestly way better than i ever remember it being because i've been waffle house like one or two times in my lifetime and that was back when i was a teenager and i remember being like back then not being very impressed with it but i'm like heck yeah <laughs> Both of us got the all-star breakfast, and then um, I swapped some things out for the hash browns and uh, bacon. And then Caden just got like what a waffle and uh, waffle and bacon. So yeah, so we're gonna oh we shared our oh yeah yeah we did share our hash browns with him. Um, and I think we showed you his food. I'm pretty sure we did. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up here and uh, figure out what adventures we can get into for today. All right, so one of the places we decided to stop today was the uh, Tyrone Square Mall here in St. Petersburg. Um, and we thought this mall was gonna be, well, on Google it looked like a, a, a poppin' mall, if you know what I mean, but um, yeah, this mall is dying out. I mean, take a look around, like, there's no one really here. <laughs> so. But keep in mind, guys, it is a Wednesday, so that could contribute to the low uh, crowd factor. But it is the summertime, too. Yes, it is. And it is only, let's see, a little after 1, about 1.15 right now. So, you know, it is early in the day, so Molly will get busier later. So, we're going to be shopping around here for a little bit. Um, we were thinking about making today maybe a shopping day. I'm really 100% excited. I thought this was interesting. I never, I've never seen a lid that uh, looked like this before. Like the little baseball, little kind of logo. And I will venture to say that this is actually kind of like the biggest lids that I've seen. And if you're familiar with the store, you know these stores can be kind of small. So that's something that I thought was pretty cool. Take a look at this store. E Trite Company. Never heard of a store like this. Looks like they uh, specialize in motorized bicycles and little motorized carts. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. And check a look at that one over there. That's pretty neat. They look like little mopeds. So yeah, pretty interesting. Photo booth. <laughs> so excuse my wings. I just realized that my I got some wing situation going on. But yeah, we're at cramped inside of a photo booth right now. About to take some photo. Here you go. Alright, let's go. I guess I was the only one that got the funny face memo, but that's okay. <laughs> Where's our funny faces? Well, I wasn't out on this. Because you've got to give me the memo. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, we found some cute outfits and a pair of shoes for Caden uh, over at the kids' foot locker, and we decided to buy some. So I'll show you a little bit of what we picked up, and we're gonna keep exploring. All right, well, let's go on three, two, one books. So this store is apparently uh, used. 
uh, bookstore where I guess people, if they don't have a need for the books anymore, they come here and they donate them. So that's pretty interesting. That's funny. Books for tall people. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, not for me. If you know, you know. Going into the music center. See, we got rock. All right, I'm gonna pick out an album, and let's see if I, I'm familiar with it. All right, let's see, just a random album. Bruce Hornsby. No. <laughs> Another thing I thought was cute is that they hung the vinyls from the ceiling here in the music center. So that's pretty cute. Cute little DIY too. It looks easy enough. Speak the truth, even if your voice still shakes. I like that. 321 Books welcomes Bingo the Clown. He sings Silk and his happy mojo today. This is a thing of nightmares. Maybe Creepy the Clown. Alright, so again, this is 321 Books, and the quick rundown here is $3 hardback books, uh, paperback books are $2, along with CDs and DVDs. $1, we have mass market books, vintage, VHS magazines and small plush toys so honestly guys I thought I had seen it all tell me why there is an eyelash vending machine in this mall looks like they go for ten dollars this is the funniest thing <laughs> so if you uh you need some emergency eyelashes uh come to this mall apparently <laughs> so earlier when we were in uh Waffle House, I overheard an employee talking to a tourist who was from Ohio, and she was like, you know, pulling their leg, giving them a hard time because I guess they said that they were going to a mall. And she's like, they don't have malls in Ohio, the employee. But I'm like, hey, don't give them a hard time. Because <laughs> uh, I like going to, you know, even though we have malls in Orlando and wherever you may be from, isn't it kind of fun though to like go out of town and go to different malls and, and see, you know, see how different cities operate. I know. I don't know. I just I just think it's fun. So Tyrone Square Mall was uh, is definitely it definitely needs some help <laughs> for sure but it was fun. And now we're off to the uh, St. Petersburg Pier. I turn around and look at Caden and it looks like he's about to fall asleep. So if he doesn't fall asleep, walk around the pier, maybe uh, grab a snack or something. It's the St. Petersburg Pier. We're actually going to go into the Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center and go for a little tour. So these are some of the um, admission prices for the Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center. Adults 13 and up would be $5. Children 4 to 12 years old $3. And children 3 and under are free. So uh, Tony and I only paid $10 even to come in. Oh, this is a shoe sanitation station. Interesting. Oh. So what is it doing? Sanitizing my shoes. Sanitizing your shoes? Yeah. That was my turn. My shoes are really dirty. <laughs> and your feet are really small. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. All right. 
it, buddy. Look at that. He's smiling. He's laughing. Some sensory activities for you. Is that fun? Is that fun, baby? I can't stand it. <laughs> uh oh. Here we go, he's going to touch. <laughs> oh, you like that? No, buggy. One finger, he has autism. <laughs> the, the communication factor might be a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> he's like, ah! Let me, let me try. Okay, I'm, I'm like wigging out. <laughs> oh. So this one is a burr fish, um, which are very similar to puffer fish, but those burr fish have their spines out all the time, whereas puffer fish only have them out when they puff up. And then this guy buried in the sand is a southern puffer fish. Okay. His name is Jeff. Jeff? He looks like a Jeff. <laughs> So he can actually change his color. So right now he's the same color as the sand on purpose. And then when he's out swimming around, he's a much darker brown. Really? Yeah. So these are brown spiny sea stars. So they yeah. have um, super rough texture. Mm -hmm. And they're really bumpy. And each bump has like a tiny little spine on it. So spiny sea stars. Spiny sea stars. Yeah. And then these are our baby horseshoe crabs in here. Are they the ones buried in the sand? Yeah. So there's a little guy over there. And then this one. They are nocturnal, so they spend most of the day buried. buried. Wow. Look at that. And it's off. <laughs> crab right here. And this one, too. So That's that, a crab? Yeah. Oh, right there. there. <laughs> um, so what? those guys will take little pieces of um, plants and taste it. And if it tastes bad, then they stick them on their back. And that way, they're well camouflaged. And if a predator sees them, they smell the bad tasting plant, and they don't want to eat the crab. Mm -hmm. So it works pretty well. Wow, that's so weird. <laughs> you can see all his legs, and then this guy is just by himself. Come here. Oh, he's clinging on. Aww. <laughs> These guys are very good at clinging to rocks. Here. That's awesome. Here. There he goes. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. And then he's gone. You don't know. And he's like, yep, I'm out. <laughs> These are all plastic bottles and they make the shape of a wave, which is pretty cool. I wonder how much time this took. Check this out. Look at all these plastic bottles. Looks like waves, don't they? Well, that's done on purpose. So it says, in the United States, we use 1,500 plastic bottles every second. This wave of plastic represents one second of use. Like, what? One second. All of these bottles, one second. And then we have all these bottles down here. This wave of plastic bottles quickly becomes a tsunami of plastic pollution. And then these are some of the breakdowns of the plastic bottle use every minute, every hour, and every day. That's insane. And every year. That is insane. So these are Ruby. These turtles are Ruby and Bertha. And they're the newest addition to the sea lion family here. Ruby is the smallest one, and I believe the smallest one is right here on the left. And then Bertha on the right. They're so cute. Look at them. See if I can zoom in on them. Ruby and Bertha. Together at last. I'm actually going to pick up a hat. Probably one of these big hats because it's so hot out there. And these are some of the souvenir cups they have here. So this is a cute little Tervis tumbler. I think this is $20. A little shot glass here. With a cute little turtle on it. Ten dollars. 
Oh, this is a nice mug. This is a uh, no price, but probably between five to ten dollars. Yep, ten dollars for the mug. So yeah, some little souvenir options here. You know, bottle openers, keychains. Oh, they have some necklaces here. Let's see how much the necklaces run. About ten dollars, so not bad. Some more here. I have a t-shirt uh, queue here. Some other t-shirts run about fifteen dollars. Seize the day. Cool little superhero theme. Oh, Turtle cool. theme. I like this shirt down here. That's cool. Little plush animals. And then some more plush animals down here. We got a little dolphin down there. And I believe this is an octopus or a squid. A shark, a shark, Dr. Seuss book. How much is that book? It is. About $10. Okay. And some books here. So that was actually a really cool little find. Yeah, it was. I wasn't expecting to have a little museum on the pier. Mm -hmm. um, so that was cool finding out about all the aquatic life in this area. And Caden had a blast in there, which was very good to see because uh, at first he was on his tablet. And I was like, all right, well, let's take the tablet away from him. Mm -hmm. And he actually started getting really into all the activities that they had in there. So that was great. And they had great customer service in there, too. The employees were very nice. And uh, it was very educational and, and better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Oh, sure. definitely. Definitely A+. plus. Highly recommended. Yeah. Uh, it's a cool little stop in and super cheap to do as well. Yeah. This thing looks amazing. This architectural design of this is so cool. I like the shape, all the glass, and I think it's a restaurant. So I'm going. Yeah, it's multiple things. I have no clue, but this thing looks amazing, and I'm definitely going to try to make D eat here. All right, guys. So a little bit about this building. Level one of this um, building has pier gear, gifts, gator gym bait tackle, tram stop, and restrooms. The level two is a driftwood cafe. Level four is the teak. Level five is pure tiki and the observation deck. So here's a quick look at the gift shop on level one. They have a lot of shirts, blown glass. So the view from up here is so beautiful. This restaurant's really cool. Drinks, food. <laughs> There's some kids down here playing on the lawn. It's pretty cool. Just can't get over this view. It's our little spot over here. Alright, so our food just came out. We have the sweet barbecue chicken flatbread the cheesiest flatbread and de-ordered a all right so our food just came out we have the sweet barbecue chicken flatbread the cheesiest flatbread and de-ordered a um, shrimp cocktail Say that again. shrimp cocktail and of course we have our two pina coladas here so we're going to snack on this and uh, show you the view so this is our view while we're eating. It's such a serene little view. It's been great. So glad that we decided to eat at this location because I don't think we would have found another view like this um, while we're here at St. Pete. Hey guys, so we finally made it back home. It's been a super long day. It's long and fun. A lot of fun. Uh, we did a lot more shopping than I expected to do. So I wanted to show you some of the stuff that we picked up today. So these pair of Adidas, uh, we thought were really cute. So we picked them up at the Tyrone Square Mall in the kids' Foot Locker there. Um, and these were $70 for the pair. Mm -hmm. So we also picked them up a matching outfit to go with it. This is Adidas as well. Mm -hmm. The shirt on the back says, Create Your Future. And it came with a pair of shorts with this outfit as well. Nice little Adidas outfit for back to school. So the next stop was over at the St. Pete Pier. Yeah. It's, just what, it's just a basic souvenir hat. 
Um, it just says the name of the building where we were. So, Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center. So yeah, mm -hmm. just your typical hat. And then another little souvenir item we picked up for Dee was a pen. For whatever reason, she couldn't walk away from there without it. <laughs> Listen, I like souvenirs, okay? So do not judge me that I wanted a pen, okay? I wanted a pen because souvenir. So, you can see here, that's not working at all. But anyway, it's just it's another thing that says Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center on it. So, I tried to do the, the whole like YouTube autofocus, but it's not working. It's not working at all. Alright, so another cute item that we found at the Discovery Center is this t-shirt here. It's a whole bunch of aquatic animals uh, dressed up as Avengers. Avengers. And yeah, we got Captain America Turtle. We have the Spider-Man Octopus. We have the Iron Man Shark. The Hulk Stingray. And the Thor Hammerhead Shark. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a, the Iron Man's actually a dolphin. So I was like, they have two sharks on here? They do not. Iron Man's Dolphin and Thor's Shark. And it says, Sea Avengers. <laughs> Get it? Because. Alright, so finally, we have our last haul from the uh, the Pier Store. Uh, I believe it's called, let's see, the receipt says it is what's called the Pier Gear and Gift Store. And that was in that five story building with the restaurants. Um, so, we picked up a St. Pete here shirt this is tony's it's a little mm -hmm. tank top here gray and then a darker gray and the shirts are uh, 21 dollars ah, there yes so they're not bad price at all and then we also got a shirt for d as well so i got a little um i saw that i got a little <laughs> saint oh, pete pier i know i oh. got a saint pete pier i'm showing them in the back Oh, this Established 2020, so I guess it's for, fairly new, which we didn't know that. I'm actually just not realizing it. Yeah, for the architecture that I saw there, it yeah. does definitely that gives off sense. a newer yeah. vibe. So the St. Pete Pier, and then it just says St. Pete Pier there on the front. So that was pretty cute, so I decided I had to pick it up. And then the last little thing that we picked up was a magnet. Yeah, so that's where we picked up the shirts that we just showed you from one of the stores here in this building. Mm -hmm. And about halfway down is where the little uh, Discovery Center is as well. Yeah, like right in this area here. Mm -hmm. So that little visit to the pier was a lot more fun than I was expecting it to be, mm -hmm. and a lot more educational. Oh yeah, um, and Kaden so, loved it. And So with Kaden having autism, he really enjoyed the sand table that you guys, they were playing with earlier. Um, that was very a sensory forward for him, and uh, he really loved it. I really, um, am pleased with how much he enjoyed that place so uh, definitely a good decision to go and you know learn a, we've actually learned a lot too yeah <laughs> we did another thing that he really liked was uh touching up the little aquatic life oh yeah uh, he yeah, was running yeah. his finger across those he kept wanting to grab everything and i was like no, yeah the lady the girl was like one finger <laughs> like because we were supposed to reach in the tank with one finger and this kid went in with all five i'm like boy <laughs> calm down yeah so i'm super excited to take him to the beach because how he was best with that sand table I can only imagine. So, okay. So we're very, very tired. Um, today was a very long day, and she's about to get tickled. Oh gosh! All right. All right so, so, you done? Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna wrap this up. We're so tired from our busy day today. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. So much. Uh, we're just gonna relax because I'm tired. We're sweaty. We need showers all the whole nine, so <laughs> you already know how that goes. All right, guys. Well, till tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. No. <laughs>